My name is Paul Bramden. I'm the director of the Center for Studies in Religion and Society at UVic. Um, the center has been around for 20 years. It's an interdisciplinary research center here. And the research fellows who come to the center look at all forms of religion from east, from west, textual forms, cultural forms, um, ancient forms, and contemporary forms. Uh, there's, no, there's no privileged uh, religious tradition. There's no privileged method that's used. We have people coming to us from all disciplines, from the hard sciences, social sciences, and humanities. Um, our principal interest is in the intersection between religious claims and communities and social realities, whether those realities are political, economic, uh, cultural, artistic, literary. In addition to serving as the home for these research fellows from around the world and from all disciplines, the center also hosts a number of research projects that are interdisciplinary and usually uh, international. We, we have had projects recently on religion and radicalization, religion and vaccine hesitancy or uh, rejection, uh, religion and hospice palliative care, and the integration of refugees by religiously affiliated settlement agencies. I think that our research at the center is important because it shows that people from all over the map, geographically and intellectually and religiously, can actually get together and spend time fruitfully discussing and debating issues that would, in other places and in other contexts, lead to terrible conflict and perhaps even bloodshed. The center is therefore a kind of a, a model for uh, elevated, uh, compassionate, rigorous, critical discussion of a whole range of religious issues. And the fact that in any given discussion we might have a Muslim theologian, an atheist feminist textual scholar, a sociologist of religion, an anthropologist of, of Aboriginal spirituality, all discussing some issue of common concern makes for extremely interesting cross-cultural and cross-disciplinary uh, discussions. These are discussions that I think broaden our horizons, challenge our preconceptions, and force people to, in their own research, to develop more sophisticated analyses of their own texts. Thank you.